Went head to head with Carlos there. I know he's all in camouflage, so you probably couldn't see him. But how did he? How did he look? He looks. Um, he looks like a, a, a well-rounded, solid fighter. Do you know what I mean? In proportion, and uh, he just—he looks game. He looks ready. He wouldn't be here if he wasn't. He didn't have to be. He had another fight lined up for November the fourth, a week after. But he chose to be here because he, was, he had a chance to fight for every championship it was. So he's game already. He's got an aggressive style. Uh, he says he's here to fight and to win. How does AJ beat him on the night? Well, it's the same style that I need to adopt that he has. He's grounded, balanced, and set up punches. Don't waste them. He's very strong, keeps his hands high. So it looks like he could be being effective, but they're just ricocheting off the gloves. So I just need to make sure that what I'm throwing is effective and I'm not wasting any energy. If all goes well, exciting 2018 ahead. Is there any fights you've got your eye on particularly, or are you just focusing on Carlos? I would, I, would, I would mention a few, but I don't want to say because what I'm learning now is that like, people are saying, why don't you fight this guy or that guy when Pulev pulled out? But I had to, if I want to keep the IBF belt, I had to fight Carlos Sacco because he's the next in line. So there's people that I want to fight, but if that's the case, then there's certain belts that I have to give up in order for that to happen. So we're in, we're in a business now, and governing bodies, they want fights to happen, so they can get their sanction fees as well. It's all politics that I'm learning, but it is what it is. I want to stay champ. So we go through what we have to do, manage your obligations, and when they're out of the way, we're going to have some real good fights. And uh, I don't want to mention them now, because they might not happen next, but I do think that we're definitely naturally going in that direction. It's a really exciting undercard on Saturday. You've got the source, Lawrence Coley, Cali Fai, Joe Cordina, Katie Taylor. Um, are you expecting some great fights? 100%. I always say it. I always mention the undercard because, you know, we always make an effort. And um, Dylan, good fighter as well. And you mentioned the Afais. It was good. It's a good undercard, good show, three world title fights. Once again, uh, um, race to become WBC challenger and then like the next generation of good athletes coming up. And that's why I think like, it's not just about like the headline, I always say that, but it's about all the undercard fights because that is what the whole show is about. It's gonna be packed on Saturday. What do you expect the atmosphere to be like? I said like Wembley, I didn't know what I was getting into, so I was calm and relaxed. <laughs> but this is, now I know it's nuts. It's just crazy. It's just gonna be crazy. And I think the roof is closed. So it's just like naturally that, what, you, what goes up must come down, so that energy is just going to be bouncing from floor to ceiling. And last prediction, how many rounds are going to go on Saturday? I don't know. I wanted to go 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not reality, is it? Do you know what I mean? So I'm prepared. 12 round fight. 12 round fight for sure. But if I could, I'd like to get him up between round one to eight. How do you feel that tackling compares to uh, a you know, like I think like um, Takam can take a bit more and Takam's got a patient and stuff. He's not gonna fight on emotion, he's gonna fight on tactics. And I also think that Takam is for a million guys in my heart. He's used to people like me, so what well, I may be a bit taught like everyone's asking to change of opponent in terms of like physique. For me, because I'm used to fighting bigger guys, and I'm fighting a short guy. In terms of Takan, he's probably the shortest of the heavyweight division, so he's so experienced against taller guys. So it'll be interesting to see how he copes and how I cope. They say he's an experienced guy, he's a well built. Do you think this would go the distance, or do you think you can get it done early doors? Heavyweight boxing is about getting it done early doors, so I have to do it. Yeah, and uh, how would you come to the back of? Uh, uh, Valentina Klitschko victory. How do you feel that's changed you as a boxer, like, that you can reflect on it? Yeah. Did you learn a lot from that fight? Or, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, it's from training, not from the fight alone. A lot of the mistakes I made were based in training. And make sure you do your road running. That's the key. That's the key.